Going on to quarterback Dolphins GM Chris Greer was very frank when asked if he had concerns about Tua Tagovailoa's durability. When he said he asked if he was worried about it, he said, "I can't lie and, and say no." Uh, you great feeling if you're the player. <laughs> you could have lied. That's yeah. not. Yeah, you actually you probably really could have lied. lied. You're allowed yeah. to. Anyone lie. can lie. You can do it anytime. <laughs> In fact, it's almost like just and, industry standard is to yeah, lie. Yes, it's accepted. And like, you could lie in a certain way that's tasteful where like everyone's like, oh, he's lying, but he's just trying to be nice. Yeah, he's lying to protect his quarterback. and He's lying to protect his quarterback. I mean, I don't even know why we're, I mentioned this one, but what do we think about these comments? I mean, he did go on to say that it wasn't going to dissuade him from signing to a long term. That yeah. They have to decide on this fifth-year team option here pretty soon. That's a no-brainer, though. Yeah. yeah, You think it's a no-brainer? Those it's things a are a no-brainer. Full, They're guar- fully guaranteed now. They're not just guaranteed for injury. They're fully well, guaranteed. But the injury is the only concern, right? Like I mean, It's a pretty big was, concern, though. I mean, there were people – it, it was a dumb storyline. But, I mean, there's people all last year like, was two ever going to play again? I'm like, dude, have you ever met the NFL? Of course this guy's going to play again. But uh, No, but, but my know. point is that who cares if it's fully guaranteed for performance reasons because your performance reasons aren't the – it's the same calculation that you've always had in That's this true. case. That's true. That's a good point. That is a good point because, yeah, form, you're not concerned with – perform. I, I, are we sure you're not concerned with the performance with Tua? Has he really put put the rest, all those doubts? He was, sec- sure. he was second in, in – uh, I I mean, we third. all know that the, the like, computer no, second in EPA per play. Hold on, computers no. love them. Oh, hold they on. We them. all know the second you plug any quarterback into the Shanny system, all of a sudden it says Jimmy Garoppolo is better than Joe Montana or whatever. Jimmy yeah. Garoppolo I was third. Believe, he was ahead of Josh. I Allen can't believe I am. Uh, well, Brock Purdy was first. And so if you small yeah, I mean, sample, can't. I can't believe in the course of 36 odd minutes, we have unanalytics Karain and Rotopat. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm back have, using, I'm using the analytics again. That's true. We, we re-analytics Karain. I will say towards the end, like the final three or four games, we saw him, his numbers started to fall off. Team seemed to adjust a little bit, but he wasn't like a train wreck. He was notably, noticeably worse, but those are, a you know, who was a train wreck about Skylar Thompson. I thought we could plug anyone into this system. <laughs> what, what, what's that? <laughs> hey, we we no finally found working? the line. You can't do Skylar Thompson. You can't do Josh Johnson and you can't do Brock Purdy with an exploded elbow. We did finally find yeah. the line for what will not work in the shady system, uh, but continue Kyle. Uh, I, the last thing I was going to say is that the fifth year option, not even that expensive for quarterback prices, given how elite, I mean, he, he truly was, I he think he led the NFL in like touchdown rate yards per attempt EPA or second in EPA per play. Like he was elite by every metric over the course of the full year. Uh, and yeah, I think that's totally some of the system, but if it works so incredibly well in the system, I wouldn't want to gamble that anyone, that's true. Can do it. Even, even if it's possible, anyone can do it. Like, look, that's Buck true. Even if it is system down, related, like, even if it is system related, that's still a good thing. That is a good point. Actually. It's fine. Like, well, yeah. the other key point here is that to, you know, if Kyle's saying, okay, it's not even that expensive to go with the fifth year option. Well, it also buys you time. It's one more year that you, ha- you can delay before you have to give this dude a real contract. And now that's where you're talking about, Oh God, you know, now <laughs> a lot of downside to handing out a big, big contract to this dude. If you, you know, play through Excellent this point. year, then you get through next year and it's like, oh man, we were wrong. Well, he's a free agent after 2024. You know, you're not really eating that much. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBC Sports and Rotoworld.com. Just want to thank you so much for watching what you just watched, or at least being too lazy to click out of it after the, you know, autoplay just kept it going. So either way, thank you so much for just letting it scroll by your screen. And now I'd like to ask you respectfully, 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 okay, respectfully, please, Subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel for the latest NFL news, fantasy headlines from Rotor World, and betting analysis from NBC Sports Edge.